Hello, my name is Alamuga Mazino, and this is a video presentation on my final year project in exploring embedded device software development. I present to you the Quadro Draw. Now let's take a look at the components of the Quadro Draw. hobbyist um, quadcopter on the market that uh, it has, has a toy or um, for recreational use. The only difference is that this has a computer in between the inputs from the receiver and the outputs to the motors on the quadcopter. The Quadro drone is comprised of two major modules. Firstly, the Arduino module. This is responsible for receiving signals from the radio, processing the signal based on information from the accelerometer and GPS, and finally, outputting the refined signals to the motors. Secondly, the power control board. This is responsible for directing power from the battery to all the electric components on the drone. It is also responsible for the direction of signals from the Arduino to the motors. The Arduino has a resistor at its connection which converts the voltage from 12 volts to 5 volts, which it then uses to power its 12, as well as power the auxiliary devices attached to it. The Arduino has 12 major pins, 4 of which are used for signal output to the motors and the other 8 used for input from the wireless receiver. The Arduino has slots for auxiliary devices. These devices are the wireless telemetry dongle which allows to communicate wirelessly with a ground station and the GPS. The whole setup is powered by a 12 volt 3 cell 4000 mAh battery which gives it roughly 25 minutes of flight time. The most important feature of the hardware design is that it is fully modular. The wires connecting different modules, rather than being soldered directly together, are soldered to the connectors or pins as which they can be easily plugged in and out. As such, should a component get damaged, it can simply be replaced in a plug and play fashion. This is done for the wireless transmitter, the telemetry dongle and even for the motors and electric speed controllers. It's all a pull away. Here, we should face the ability to balance itself. The drone is put on its side and turned on. It immediately senses it is in the wrong position and corrects its orientation. You can hear the motor spin up to counteract the external force from my hand. It is also capable of sending flight information to a ground station. As you can see on the screen, it sends information about its orientation wirelessly using a telemetry module. This information is displayed on the ground station software on the screen behind me. It also tracks specific values displayed in the readout below the orientation display. In the readout, the yaw value changes as it is turned. It also tracks its vertical speed and altitude, both of which rise and drop as I lift and drop the drone respectively. Now on to the field. There are many checks that should be performed before flight, however, this video only showcases one, which is the voltage check. The drone requires 12 volts to be powered, however, it's always good to be slightly overcharged as the voltage will drop when on the load. 12.5 volts is perfect. With waypoints loaded, a signal is sent from the radio to the drone to commence autonomous flight. 